Where are we at? Well, we're open and trading, major achievement. Even last this long, amazing. Um, and we're now sort of getting ready. We've had one live show and we're madly booking what we can really to fill out the rest of the year and, and get rolling on next year. Uh, well, we were all in trouble, really. Without a bailout, we'll be, we'll be toast. Yeah, quite simply, we won't survive. You know, we're you know, just hanging on. You know, I sat on the couch for, for six weeks just applying for grant applications. So we were, we were really facing uh, ruin. There's, there's no, way of other, no other way of putting it. So the Creative Victoria uh, uh, bailout package, you know, really has, has allowed us to survive. But of course, that's not going to last forever either. So, you know, we're still running at you know, 20% capacity or something. And, you know, the, the income, uh, our income is directly proportional to how many people you can have in the place. Um, and, you know, so it barely, barely covers wages at the moment. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, I might have saved, you know, signed up to save it once. I don't know if I signed up to save it twice. Uh, <laughs> don't remember that being in the, uh, the contract that I signed with the devil. Um, yes, but, yeah, that's when we came in. We came in really... Um, uh, the previous publican, Bruce, pretty much, you know, he'd uh, run out of money, pretty much. Uh, and as a direct result of, uh, you know, the impact that the changes in liquor licensing regulation had, had been imposed on the tote. My name's John Perry. The real issue that we've got is, on the liquor licences, it has this clause that says, if live music and amplified music is played you need to do a whole stack of things and just the basically the economics just don't stack up uh, which just changed his whole business equation and they just couldn't continue and it's at that point that we came in i mean the, the toad's been doing live music for 40 years its, it's birthday is, is early next year um, it could even be now it's actually a bit hard to pin down because you know, it's not one of these things that's well documented. I think, no one's argued with me, but I think we were the light, busiest live music venue in Australia in terms of the number of gigs that we were actually staging. So we were putting two and a half thousand uh, bands on to stages every year, um, which equated to somewhere around about 750 uh, shows. Almost every significant band that's come out of uh, Australia and entered the, you know, the Australian musical zeitgeist, if you like, has pretty much done a show at the Toad at some point in time. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Are we able to, you know, keep going? And I, I really don't know the answer to that because with all the uncertainty that comes with the pandemic, the one thing you can't do is financially plan.